With Revit, even though most of the project will be built up in 3D, you'll still need to fill in the rest of the details with conventional 2D drafting. Starting out, if I go to a section view of my model by clicking on the section tag, the view that's cut has already started out a basic section, which I want to then add more details to. So for example, with my window mullion, I want to first lay in a masking region which will cover up the existing mullion. Then I can draw over the top of that with details to make it look more accurate. First I'm going to go to the tool tray to the left of the window and choose the drafting tab and then choose the masking region tool. Clicking on the masking region tool will put me into a sketch mode where I can start drawing out the region that will cover up the existing mullion. Once I'm finished drawing it, I'm going to click Finish Sketch. You can see it's created a masking region object. When I hover over it, I can select it, and it brings up handles that I can drag to change its shape. Next, I can start drawing in details over the top of this masking region uh, by going to the Tool Tray and in the Drafting tab, choose Detail Lines. Detail Lines gives you a type selector in the top of the Options bar where I can change it to different line weights and I can choose any tool option I want to draw any type of line I need to. As you start drafting, it might be easier to go to the Thin Lines tool at the top and toggle off the line weight as it appears to a more um, thin reference line so it's easier to see the detail. I can start drawing in the detail that it needs to be. Once I'm done, uh, you can notice with the masking region that it has an, the edge of the bottom of the masking region um, is showing uh, in a case where I really don't want it to show. Um, I can swap out the edges for invisible lines by first selecting the masking region and clicking on Edit in the Options bar. This brings me back into the masking region sketch mode where I can then select the edge and swap it out for a different line type. In this case, um, I'll swap it out for invisible lines. I'll click Finish Sketch. You can see that even though the masking region is still there, the bottom edge is now invisible. So I'll just go ahead and grab the detail lines and drag them down to complete the, the detail. At this point, it's a pretty good idea to start toggling back and forth to its true line weights. Doing that, you can see that the line weights um, aren't really matching up very well with the masking region. At this point, you'll want to uh, select the masking region uh, and edit to go back into its sketch mode and start swapping out those lines for lines that match the existing model. On the sides, I'll do two and click finish. Now it's starting to look a little bit more accurate. Um, also, I can not only swap out the edges um, of the masking regions, but if I go back into the sketch mode, I can also split these lines using the split tool at the top and then along any point I can click to split and I'll split on the other side and now I've split it into two segments where I can start changing um, its line weights independently. And I'll finish sketch. And I'll change the line weights of the detail lines also. Now if I want to start adding blocking to the top of the window head condition, I can also add hatch patterns by using a different tool which is similar to the masking tool, but it's called the filled region tool. It's located in the tool tray under the drafting tab, filled region. Uh, this also brings me into a sketch mode where I can draw it out. I'll go ahead and change its line types. And I'll go into region properties in the tool tray to the left edit new and here I can pull down a different pattern that will fill the entire region. I'll click apply, OK, OK again and I'll click finish sketch. Finally Revit gives you the ability also to start changing out the order that they appear just like in changing out layer orders in AutoCAD. Just, just select the item that you want to change and you can uh, click on these buttons at the top of the option bar to start changing out their order of appearance.